What's up guys, it's Chris from uh, Beer Soaked Beard Reviews. Uh, for another unpacaging today. This unpackaging from Wild Schwein, Gro Sch Wild Schwein Brewing. Uh, I have a tongue twister sometimes to say. So they're out of the high desert in Southern California, like the Victorville, Phelan area. Jake's a really cool dude. He actually uh, owns a, a kid's barber shop in Riverside called Monkey Dews. Uh, I met Jake when on Instagram, we kind of became friends, and you know, it's more than just a, a business thing. It's you know, we're friends and we talk and all that good stuff. So I was really stoked when he, uh, you know, was willing to let me try out his product and uh, give my honest review. So we're doing the unpackaging today. Review will be coming next week. Uh, so let's check it out. So he actually sent me, you know, a pretty good sized care package, which was pretty awesome. Uh, let's go over a couple of oils here. This is Mr. Hyde's Ride. This is an exclusive that's gonna go back in the vault from what Jake says. So let me smell it for you and I'll tell you what I think it smells like. So it's got a very musky scent and I like it. Uh, I also think I smell a little bit of cinnamon in there, which is awesome. Like I said, it's a limited edition. So pretty stoked to have that in my collection. Next we have Cedar and Saddle. I like to actually, you know, start using the Cedar and Saddle because Jake has been on my butt for the last year telling me how much I needed to try his product. So Cedar and Saddle smells great. Smells real good, obviously it has Cedar in it. I believe probably a little bit of leather smell scent to it, so that's kind of cool. Like I said, I've used the pomade nut scent and the butternut scent, so, and the oil. Pretty awesome. We got more oil coming up, guys. Okay, so these are super cool. They're not released yet. They're not available online yet, as far as I know. So let's talk about them a little bit. This one is called the Haunted Harvest. Um, it's pretty cool. It's a fall exclusive scent that'll actually go back in the vault after fall is over. Honestly got a little bit of a pumpkin spice scent to it, in my opinion. Um, I personally don't like pumpkin spice, but it smells really good, and it's great for those fall days. Uh, citrus and sage, which is also not released yet. Pretty stoked on that. I actually like the smell of sage quite a bit, and citrus, you know, being in Southern California, living here my whole life. Uh, every spring you smelt it, and it just perked you up and made you feel great. It you feel refreshed. Oh, yeah. That's some good stuff right there. Uh, definitely smell citrus and the sage as well. Okay. So we have a couple more oils and then we'll get to the butters. This is the big island blend. Um, not a big fan of coconut scents. Um, or, you know, any kind of rum scent or anything like that. But like I said, not a bad scent. Uh, it's not something I use every day. It's something that you use when you're going out or during those summer nights when you're you know, hanging out with your friends, just enjoying the time. Uh, it's pretty good though. This Ode to the Gods. So, um, Ode to the Beard Gods, I'm assuming. Or, you know, us YouTube gods that think we're great when we uh, make our YouTube videos about beard care product. Um, let's go ahead and check that out. The labeling's actually pretty cool. He's he stuck with the theme of a uh, you know wild hog, obviously wild swine grooming, um, but they've all got a little bit of a different character to them, which is really really cool. So Cedar and Saddle, for example, has got a swine with the hat and a bandana. Wild West swine. Oh yeah. Smells great. That's, you know, the main thing that a lot of people look for is the scent and the consistency. You know, it's things that go hand in hand and uh, it makes your beard look great and smell great. It doesn't cause a bunch of problems, you know, to make it all broken up and dry. Um, it's always a good thing. All right, so we have some butters now. Um, I've already kind of talked about the scents on the oils, so I have some butters to match it. 
First one I'm pulling out here is Ode to the Gods. Uh, it comes in the, a cool black plastic tin here. Um, the butter's pretty solid looking too, like your general normal butter. Um, yeah, uh, this is a cedar and saddle. I've actually been using this one, so surprise I didn't really open it on camera. I've been using it for a little bit uh, since it is my next review, so I wanted to you know, actually try it and make sure I was giving you guys an accurate review. Next one is the Big Island Blend. Like I told you, not a fan of, uh, you know, most of the time about rum scents or coconut scents, but it smells pretty good. Um, yeah, it's, it's just got that island, island scent to it and makes you feel like you're in Hawaii, even if you've never been there. Mr. High Dried. Again, a limited edition scent. I'm super stoked to have it. I will be trying all of these scents out probably in the next couple of weeks week here giving you an accurate view of actually what I think and uh the last thing we have in the wash wine package here is co-wash. If you've heard of co-wash it's a pretty cool idea. It's good for your beard and your body. Um and you know I've I've never tried a co-wash before so I'm super excited to try it. Again Jake from Wash Wine thank you so much. Cheers to you sir and uh have a good night YouTube land don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button so you are ready to see the next review.